behavior of the synchronous motor with varying load. So, if you understand this, uh, it is very easy. So, now uh, at the time of no load, assume ideal case no load, okay, uh, no load the delta equal to 0, delta equal to 0. So, the V phase then E B phase, so delta equal to 0. Now, you are increasing the load. So, light load condition, you are increasing uh, the load slightly. So, say 10 percentage load you are increasing. What will happen? Initially, the uh, stator magnetic axis and rotor magnetic axis in exact uh, synchronism because of load increment, increment in the load, the rotor try to come out from the synchronism that will create some angle that is called load angle or torque angle. Okay. So, if you increase the load, the load angle will increase. Okay. So, the delta will come into picture. So, you are increasing the load further. What will happen? The rotor try to come out from the synchronism. So, the delta will be more. So, you are keeps on increasing the uh, load. What will happen? At one point of time, the rotor comes out from the synchronism. You know the synchronous motor, either it will run at synchronous speed or zero speed. Uh, either it will run at synchronous speed or uh, zero speed. So, if you at no load condition, the rotating magnetic field and the rotor in exact synchronism, exact locking position, if you increase the load, the rotor try to come out from the rotating magnetic field, that is come out from the magnetic locking. So, keeps on you are increasing, the delta keeps on increasing, at one point of time what will happen? The rotor comes out from the synchronism. So, now you can see, so uh, behavior of the synchronous motor with varying load. So, First, initially no load condition, so this. So, what is the I A? So, I A equal to V phase minus E B phase uh, divided by Z S. V, B, e, v phase minus E B phase is nothing but E R phase. So, now uh, first case, uh, in this case, first case, now you can E B phase, V phase minus E B phase. So, the resultant is 0. In second case, you are increasing the load, slightly you are increasing the load, second case. So, the delta come into picture, now you can calculate. So, V phase, so this is E B phase, so now uh, V phase minus E B phase, this is E B phase, so this is E R phase. So, the E R phase magnitude increases, here E R phase equal to 0, okay, first case E R phase. Now, increasing the load further, in third case you are increasing the load further, so the delta increases. You can compare the second diagram and the third diagram, here delta is less, here delta is more. Why delta is more? Because you are increased the load. Because of increased the load, the delta increases. So, E R phase magnitude is also increases. Here E R phase, first case E R phase is 0, because delta is 0. In second case, delta is somewhat more compared to first case in second case. So, E R phase is more er phase is more so you are increasing the load further in third case so compared to second case the delta is more so the er phase is also more so er phase is more what will happen ia phase is more that means if you increase the load in the synchronous motor the er phase increases er phase increases means ia increases in any motor if you increase the load the current will increase if you increase the load, the current will increase us. Okay. So, that means in background, what will happen means, if you increase the load, first the delta will increase, the delta will uh, increase uh, the ER phase, the ER phase increases means current increases. So, this is the synchronous motor. So, now this is the constant excitation circle. Okay. So, uh, in previous slide we uh, have drawn the in uh, separate fashion we have drawn, now in single diagram we have drawn all the thing. Uh, okay. So, first V phase, then first delta, okay. so constant excitation circle, okay. that means here we are not disturbing the excitation, we are changing only load. So, V phase load say 25 percentage of the load, okay. that will create some delta. delta. Okay. So, V phase minus e, e B phase that is nothing but E R, E R phase. So, that is E R phase 1, E R phase 1, E R phase 1. Now, you are increasing the load. So, what will happen? The delta will increase. So, here delta 1, now delta 2, delta 2 increases. So, delta 2 increases. So, what will happen? For second case, the E R phase magnitude increases, second case. Now, you are increasing the load further. So, that means delta increases further. 
if delta increases further what will happen er phase also increases further so third case okay so first case er phase is less second case er phase is more third case in er phase is uh, further increases why it increases means your delta is increases that is delta 3 is greater than delta 2 is greater than delta 1 okay so in this case the er phase 1 uh, er phase 1 is less than er phase 2 is less than er phase 3 er phase 3 okay so if er phase increases means what is the meaning current increases now you can join all these three points that will give one circle you can see the data line one that will give one circle that is called a constant excitation circle okay so here we are not disturbed the excitation we have uh, changed only load by varying the load the current increases this is called constant excitation circle 